All right, here we are. I'm going to try to fix this link. Here's what I use for repairing all sorts of my objects. Um, this uh, Max CLR um, casting resin. Uh, you can use it to make po uh, carbon fiber um, or uh, fiberglass stuff. You can use it to cast uh, plastic components. Uh, you can even make um, tail lights and windows and all sorts of nifty stuff with this. Uh, you can use it for molds, whatever. This is uh, actually what I, I molded the uh, the servo horn out of. Um, and I just made a wax uh, wax mold out of a bottle in a bottle cap, and poured this stuff in it. it takes about six or seven hours, and it's hard as a rock. So this stuff right here is awesome. Um, if you're a fabricator or you want to make some carbon fiber body parts, I would suggest you get this. It's also handy for repairing plastic because it's nice and sticky and nice and hard. All right. The other thing you're gonna need. You're gonna need minimum two cups. One's for mixing, then you pour the mixed mixture into another cup so you make sure this cup doesn't have any excess hardener uh, or polyurethane that hasn't uh, mixed properly in it because that will ruin things if you if you don't mix it perfectly. It's gotta be a homogeneous mixture. Alright, the other thing, I'm, I've got my little uh, work area over here. Here's my linkage. Right there with the uh, broken piece as you can see All right, got a piece of tin foil and a piece of cardboard to work on and I'm just going to mix this up right here now as you can tell one bottle is bigger than the other that's because you need twice two parts of this to one part of this so but for such a small amount I'm just going to try to eyeball it a few drops of each You want to mix this for a good two or three minutes. All right, what I'm going to do here is this tin foil right here will release on the back of this. Uh, as long as it's not wrinkled, it's going to be nice and smooth. So I smooth it out, real nice piece. You got to be careful and peel it off real slow so it doesn't tear. Um, but I'm going to be doing some grinding on this anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my spot. Alright, there it is. Put a little bit of this right on the break so it can get in between there. Try to get it moved around good in between there. Alright, in between there good. Get some out of here. Alright. All right, I've been working on balancing my fly bar. Um, it's all about moving things around, getting them spaced out properly, and making sure all the weight's balanced out. About as good as it's gonna get right there. <laughs> awesome! That is awesome. It's about the right daylight, isn't it? I want a helicopter. That's cool. I'm trying. Alrighty! Surveillance camera now.
I'm trash. No, we can't try. No, that's like a long part. Oh yeah, you would crash in a beat. Probably a lot harder than the V game. Oh yeah. What's the range? A thousand feet. Wow, oh, that's that really one. high. Jeez. A thousand feet. A thousand feet of high? No, it's from the uh, parking to the helicopter. Park. Can I go as far as that train? Yeah, and it, it, I mean, if you lose control of it, watch this one. Right it down. See how quick that shit it takes off. See how quick I spun it? I barely, I was barely touching the control. So you're just barely moving it? Yeah. That doesn't have an adjustment? Not this one. You can you can do it with the higher end uh, transmitters. This is just a stock transmitter. Oh, I want some helicopter. You can keep your eye on it too because it goes out of control. You hear me? See how fast it's coming? Yeah, seriously. Just keep your eye on it. Yeah, a little wobble it got just then. I had to tune that out on what the problem is there. It's flyable though. Not bad. What? Front to back. I think that's the hard part. Like that you mean? Landing it. A little, little bit of wobble. Yeah, yeah, it's got a little Not bit. Of, yeah.